Welcome STEM engineers. Today's activity is called 10 apples up on top, but it's technically 20 apples up on top. And today's activity, you are going to need some snap cubes and an apple, or you could have a plastic piece of fruit from a toy food kit. I happen to have a real apple on hand, a little extra challenge. Today's activity is to build a tower that is at least 20 snap cubes high that will balance this apple at the top of it. But before we do that, there is a great story called 10 Apples Up on Top by Dr. Seuss. But somebody took that book and made it into a song. So I'm going to link to that song right here. You may want to check it out. It is a really fun tune to listen to as you're building. Now to build my tower, what I've done is counted by fives to 20. So I now have a pole that is 20 cubes long. So this could be my tower and I could balance my apple at the top, only there's a little bit of a problem. Do you see that right there? I have the pointy part of the snap cube on top and if I try and balance my apple on top of that, it is not going to work. So at this point, I think I might need to um, make a platform for it. I also notice I can't let go of this tower. It's gonna fall if I let go. So I think I'm gonna need a base as well as a platform on top to balance my apple. So I'm gonna work on that for just a minute. Oh, I made it so that there's no piece sticking out here that can poke in to what now is a flat surface because I used my pointy end to attach down here. So I'm going to have to rebuild this so that there's a piece sticking out. Looks like now I've got a piece that sticks out so I can attach that to the top and it's time to test and see if I can balance an apple up on top. Now the true test is if I can let go of this and it stays for 10 seconds, a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a successful ten apples up on top.